cups of all-purpose flour, I have taken a teaspoon of onion seeds, salt to taste, 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. And now, we are going to use our fingers to mix the whole mixture. Mix it really nicely. It's time to add water in it. And we are going to make a dough. The dough will be really hard dough. It's not going to be as soft as chapati dough. It will be harder than the chapati dough. The dough is ready and it's going to sit for 10 minutes or until we prepare the filling of it. I have taken a handful of chopped cilantro or coriander leaf, 2 tablespoons of raw peanuts, 1 teaspoon of whole cumin or jeera, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds which have roasted and crushed it, 1 teaspoon of amchur powder or dry mango powder, 1 tablespoon of crushed ginger and green chili. Here I have 1 tablespoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala. Garam masala is an Indian spice, mixed spices, you can find it in any of the grocery store. 2 tablespoon of vegetable oil, 1 fourth a cup of frozen green peas. If you have fresh green peas, you can also use fresh green peas too. And 4 boiled potatoes which I have crushed. Oil is all heated up. It's time to add cumin to the oil. When the cumin starts cracking up, add peanuts in it. And we are going to fry the peanuts till it's almost done. On a medium heat. Now add crushed green chili and ginger. And we are going to fry this till the ginger and green chili is almost done. I fried it for a minute and see. Now it's time to add crushed boiled potatoes. dry mango powder for some extra heat I'm adding chili flakes it's entirely optional crushed roasted coriander seeds now goes in the green peas and we're gonna cook it again for a minute till all the peas are nicely cooked finally we're gonna add some chopped cilantro to the mixture and our mixture is ready. I have taken a big lemon size portion out of my dough. Press it. And now we are going to roll it out. A small chapati out of it. So I have rolled out a small chapati out of the ball. Now we are going to cut it and divide it into half. We are going to work with one hand. I have applied water on the top edge which will act as a glue. Overflap it and now press it to stick with the sides. Now can you see my cone is ready? Our cone is ready and it's time to fill it. So I'll be using 2 teaspoon of potato mixture to fill the cone. Now again I'm going to apply water on the edges to seal the cone. Now watch carefully what I'm going to do next. I'm going to pinch both the sides together. By pinching it, I'm sealing the edges. We are going to make the backbone of our samosa. So, apply a little water and then make a fold over there and then pinch it. Can you see the fold? This is the backbone of our samosa. In the same way, I have made all my samosas and it's all ready to be fried. Here I am heating 4 cups of vegetable oil to fry samosas. 
it's time to fry our samosas on medium heat so we are going to fry it for 5 minutes on each side or till it's nice and light brown in color keep turning your samosas for the even cooking samosas are all done and it's time to take it out on a kitchen towel to drain out the excess oil. I've served the samosas with some tamarind chutney and green chutney. To get more of my latest videos, please subscribe. Hope you guys have enjoyed my video tutorial. See you next time.